ग्रुप ऑफ गाइस माय सेल्फ मोहन बाबू एसिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एंड कम्युनिकेशन आवर विद आवर लैब इंस्ट्रक्टर मोहन शर्मा वी आर डूइंग अ वीडियो ऑन द एक्सपेरिमेंट नंबर 8 डिजाइन द डिजाइन ऑफ मोनो स्टेबल एंड ये स्टेबल मल्टी वाइब्रेटर यूजिंग द ट्रिपल फाइव टाइप ओके फर्स्ट वी विल कम टू द मोनो स्टेबल मल्टी वाइब्रेटर ओ व्हाट इज व्हाट डू यू मीन बाय मोनो स्टेबल मल्टी वाइब्रेटर द नेम इटसेल्फ सेस इट इज अ इट इज हैविंग ओनली वन स्टेट दैट्स व्हाई इट इज कॉल्ड मोनो ओके सी दैट्स व्हाई इट इज कॉल्ड मोनो स्टेबल मल्टी वाइब्रेटर दिस इज द सर्किट ऑफ द मोनो स्टेबल मल्टी वाइब्रेटर यूजिंग ट्रिपल फाइव टाइप मार्क here you can see this is the input it is a triple five timer having uh, eight pins that is uh, uh, one pin number 1 to 8 here pin number 2 we are giving the input uh, trigger pulse and here uh, we are taking the output of the pin number 3 uh, and uh, here at the capacitor uh, we are taking the output of the capacitor okay and uh, this is a triple five timer these are the sum of the resistance uh, we are taken r a r b all those things and uh, we are connected this is a circuit diagram of the uh, mono stable multi vibrator okay see here this is a design part see in this uh, triple five timer uh, we are written r a value the resistance r a value and r b value how to calculate that r a and uh, r b value means uh, that is nothing but t p t p is nothing but uh, um, time period okay this is the design uh, uh, this is the pulse width output uh, pulse width is given by the formula 1.1 into ra into c so here uh, we are pulse width we are taken is 1 uh, milliseconds we are assumed is 1 milliseconds for that uh, if you want to get the tp is equal to 1 milliseconds uh, we have to choose these parameters uh, capacitor and uh, ra value capacitor value is 0.1 microfarad you have to take and ra value you have to take uh, 10 kilowatts okay if substitute these parameters in this one you will get the value of whatever the designed value that is 1 millisecond okay this value will i written here capacitor 0.1 microfarad and uh, ra value uh, 5.86 uh, kilo uh, okay and here uh, this is the output waveform of the uh, particular uh, mono stable uh, multi vibrator here this is the trigger pulse we are giving for the input side and uh, this is the uh, across the capacitor we are seeing the charging and uh, discharging output and this is the pulse uh, output pulse width uh, what we have designed that is 1 millisecond okay see here you can see the output we form uh, see whenever if you give the clock pulse at that time only the capacitor is going to charge okay uh, a good example is our calling bell whenever you are pressing the calling bell switch at the time it is going to ring okay as uh, uh, rest time it is in uh, the sleep mode okay here also same thing whenever we are giving the trigger pulse at the time it is uh, the capacitor is going to charge okay up to what extent it will going to charge means uh, whatever the we are designed output pulse width is that uh, up to that is 1 milliseconds we are taken up to 1 milliseconds it is the capacitor is going to charge and it is uh, after uh, that particular uh, whatever the designed value 1 millisecond goes at that time it is going to discharge this is a discharge portion of the uh, capacitor okay and here this is one example we have taken a 1 millisecond you can see the tablet color this is a pulse uh, output pulse width and uh, this is a theoretical value and this is a practical value and the theoretical value here uh, in this uh, particular experiment we have taken a uh, 1 millisecond for 1 millisecond we have uh, theoretically we have uh, calculated in the finally if you are uh, at the output of the pin number 3 you have to get a uh, 1 millisecond whatever the designed value uh, theoretically we are calculating now that one we have to practically we have to get at the at the output of the triple five time that is pin number 3 okay uh, for similarly for rest i uh, we have to assume one more microsecond the tp uh, pulse width for the output pulse width at the time we have to the statistical value at the pin number uh, that is at the time this uh, capacitor and r value is going to change okay and uh, we have to uh, substitute in here and you have to read up the circuit and you will get the corresponding uh, uh, that is practical uh, pulse output uh, pulse width that is one microsecond similarly for rest readings you have to take uh, next you have to assume uh, output pulse width is a 2.5 microseconds next one you have to take the like this uh, 3 to 4 uh, uh, theoretically you have to calculate it and you have to get the practical values uh, at the output of the triple five time okay this is with respect to the mono stable uh, multi vibrator okay 
and this is the circuit diagram of the monostable multi vibrator what i explained on the board same thing i recovered the circuit okay and this is the output waveform this is the charging and discharging capacitor output and this is the output of pulse width okay see here you can observe here uh, whenever if you are giving the uh, pulse at that time it is going to charge and up to what extent it is going to charge means uh, uh, that is we are designed tp is 1 milliseconds uh, up to that it is going to charge after uh, that 1 millisecond it is going to discharge you can observe here capacitor output okay this is a, a practical output we are designed for and this is a signal generator uh, we are given the square wave of 1 kilohertz okay and uh, this is a power supply, uh, fixed power supply for the uh, particular uh, ic okay uh, this is a cro we are taking the this is the capacitor output at the um, uh, that is the output of the capacitor and this is the pin number 3 we are taking the output uh, pulse width okay uh, i kept uh, both are in a dual mode and i am showing the final output of the particular thing i designed for the 1 millisecond i got practically also at the output of the uh, triple five timber i got the, uh, the the same output okay such so that whatever we have done the experiment is correct okay and uh, thank you